Repeat after me. Today, I will not be salty. Today, I will not be salty. Hey Grains, I actually am pretty curious today because unknowingly, I picked up two craft kits, one from Japan when I was there the last time, And one from Amazon because I wanted to salty review it. And as I was looking at these kits, I realized something pretty interesting. That they are, in fact, the same kit. Many of you requested that I do a review on the Whipple kits, which are originally a Japanese craft kit, but it did make its way to North America. So although I could salty review them, Salty Crafter was definitely not happy when I pulled it out of her claws. She, she really did not want to let it go. You guys have no idea how difficult it is to get rid of Salty Crafter's clasps. But today I want to have a lighthearted bit of fun and figure out what the biggest difference is between these two kits, because they actually are about the same price. And from what I can tell is that it seems like we can do a little less here because it says create six pieces, whereas the Japanese one gives us ten pieces. So let's do some unboxing and figure out if this is a scam. Wait, why, why did I, why did my salty side come out? So let's open it friends and, and see the biggest differences between these two. <laughs> I can't even keep a straight face trying to be nice. Y'all are stuck with me. This is it. We are one together. This week's shoutouts go to Tiger Techniques and Galame Artists. If you want a shoutout in my Friday videos, don't forget to hashtag Notification Squad within the first 45 minutes of a video's release or hashtag Nerdy Crafter on Twitter or Instagram anytime with any of your creations. Wait! <laughs> While we're on the topic, of Japan, I want to give a huge shout out to my friend Chris, also known as Abroad from Japan, who started a month and, and maybe two months long cycling trip across Japan. If you want to follow him on his journey, I'll leave all his links in the description box below. He is British, so probably as salty as I am. $500 million weather satellite, and it can't even get the weather right. What a load of shit. So if you're looking for amazing content, fun guy, I highly recommend him. Chris, I really wish I could be with you right now because it just seems like such an amazing adventure to be on. Good luck, my friend. The North American one cost me about $13 Canadian, and the Japanese one was 950 yen, which is more or less about the same price. If we look closely at the boxes, we have the same projects. The present is there, the cupcake is there, the cake, donut, the little kitty cat, and the multi-tiered cake. What's really interesting is the difference in the size. I mean, just look, look at the difference in size. It's like, you would honestly think if you saw these two boxes, that one has fewer projects, and the other one has way more. But the bigger box actually seems to have fewer projects than the littler one. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm really curious to see that. Because if that's the case, it's exactly what they did with the Turbo Graphics when they sent it to North America. Here's the Japanese video game console, and here's the North American version because they figured that maybe the market thinks that bigger is better. Don't tell me that that's not the same thing. Just added a little more plastic. All right, so let's start by opening the North American version first to see what we get inside. I will not be salty, I will not be salty. So interestingly enough, what came in this entirely pretty big box was this. Don't tell me they couldn't have made the box half the size. Time to open up the Japanese one. So on the right hand side you'll see the Japanese package, whereas on the left hand side you'll see the North American package. Here's what we get in the North American kit. Six bases, pink, blue, and white frosting, embellishments, and keychain holders, as well as the nozzles and instructional manual. In addition to the six that were in the North American package, the Japanese one has a fork, spoon, two heart cookies that come with it. The embellishments are the same, we just have more of them, but we seem to have fewer of the actual keychain things. Keychain chains? Keychain chains. Keychain chains. You just caught me uh, pondering about a word and for some reason I like to get into words sometimes and repeat them for no reason whatsoever. Not sure what this accent is, but excuse me. There's something that is really interesting I want to show you, Grace. Let me just move, move that over here. This here is the Japanese version. 
of the Deco cookie. It looks pretty real, looks pretty yummy. So the one on the left is the North American one, the one on the right is the Japanese one. It feels like they probably removed most of the shading and realistic look to kind of avoid maybe kids from eating it. It's North America underestimating our kids. I don't know any other reason why they would do this because it really is a huge difference. One looks plasticky and the other one legit looks really yummy and pretty delicious. It's just one is shaded real and the other one is shaded to look a little more synthetic. After recording this, I figured maybe the other reason is probably because it's cheaper to produce one color as opposed to with shading. The North American version says that this is for seven years old and up. Whereas interestingly enough, in the Japanese version, it says eight years old and up. Even the instructional sheets are two different sizes. The North American one has fewer instructions and fewer projects, but it is bigger, whereas the Japanese sheet is smaller and contains way more information. I think I'm starting to see a pattern that Japanese people are just absolutely efficient when it comes to saving space. All right, so let's get to making this project over here. I think it would only be fair to compare the exact same projects with the exact same colors and the exact same embellishments to see if the end results, drawing time, and all that are the same in the North American versus Japanese version. Let's do the doing. So what we need to do is just pretty much remove the cap and replace it with this one. Come on, A, A. So it turns out that the North American kit kept the same way of screwing on bottles, the Japanese way. Not this way, but that way. Does this smell like anything? Nope. So they did say to squeeze and then spread with the nozzle. This is for eight-year-olds. I should be able to do this. One of the things I noticed a little too late is that the liquid in those little containers were towards the top, so you had to knead it. Otherwise, it came out gross and very watery which does affect the quality of the cream later on. So you'll have to see, make sure that you do need your cream better than I did. And of course my salty side automatically went to those darn North American manufacturers, but you'll see later on as we're doing the Japanese one, the blue was okay, but the white one was also gross and um, liquidy because you definitely had to need it. We're supposed to wait about 24 hours before touching it, so let's make a couple more and see what the end results are. So here's the part that I told you about. If you don't need those little cream containers, you're gonna get this watery effect that kind of looks discolored and, and just weird. All I did was clean it up with a Q-tip and carried on, but of course I have sausage fingers and that little heart didn't make it all the way on the inside. So... Uh, unfortunate, but at least consistent. So both the North American and Japanese version had the color slightly separate inside the nozzles, and even though I did need it, obviously I didn't need it enough, but the liquid was really on top, so it was kind of hard to try and get it to the bottom. So what ended up happening is this separation. This is the Japanese one. So wherever the colors kind of touched, it seemed like they retracted from each other and left this weird separation in between. I wonder if we can fix it. So I'm gonna try and fix it and then leave it overnight and see if it actually does better. And this is the North American version, which the liquid had risen slightly a bit more. We are not salty today. Who are you trying to lie to? So while these are drying up, let's go through the differences and similarities of both kits. Let's start with the North American one. It is approximately $10. Japanese one, same thing. Back over here, we are getting six projects. Whereas on the other side, we're paying the same price, but we're getting 10 projects, which means that each project 
is about a dollar and sixty six cents. But on the flip side, only a dollar per charm. We get three bottles of the deco paint. Ditto. Which means that the North American version actually gives room for creativity and changing colors around. Whereas in the Japanese version, because we get more projects, you have to use the exact colors and amounts. Otherwise, you'll run out of them before you finish all your projects. So we're actually getting way more deco cream because we're getting fewer projects. But the Japanese version, I've already run out of some colors and I can only use whatever's left for decorations on the other pieces. So if you had to choose one or the other, these are factors that you have to keep in mind. Do you want more projects so that cost less? Or do you want fewer projects but more creativity? If you really wanted creative freedom, you can definitely buy polymer clay, cookie cutters, and dollar store deco paint or 3D paint. And you can go to town by decorating as many as you want. But if you are in the market for either of them as a Christmas gift or any of that, these are factors you have to keep in mind. I did find myself pretty into them because I love deco, so if it's something that you are not sure if someone's going to enjoy, a kit like this is probably a good idea to get them into it. Remember, I am not salty reviewing, I'm just comparing the two versions. So here they are all dried up. I really don't think there's much difference in terms of the quality of the deco cream. They look cute either way. Just make sure that you knead the bottles a little more, maybe swirl them around and roll them into little snakes and whatnot it's just to get that color back up in there. And of course, while adding the keychain, they make absolutely adorable backpack or purses or bags or luggage tags. I'm a kid at heart, what do you want? Thank you so much for watching Grains. It's pretty hectic. Some of you don't know, but I do have a full-time job, so releasing two videos a week is so fun. But sometimes I have to settle for more great back projects. Otherwise, it would just be too much work. But I love hanging out with you guys, so hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to watch a salty review, make sure you check it up here. And if you want to watch a crafting video, I don't know what that is, but it's something now. Until then, I will see you in the next video.